Hi friends. So today what we're going to do is we are going to make a card, a greeting card. Okay. So let's see the supplies that we need. We need um, a piece of a colored paper, two different colors. Okay. So this is a leftover paper uh, from a previous project. So um, if you don't have a leftover piece from a previous project, you can take a whole paper and cut a small piece off. Okay, maybe this much. This much would be enough for the project. You can save the rest of the paper. So I have two colors. Uh, two, this much would do. Okay, and then I have one full sheet of paper. So first, and then you need scissors, a black marker, and a glue stick. So first thing that you're going to do is um, turn this paper to look like a card. So I'm going to fold this paper. See that this side matches with this side. Press it down here and then press this side to make a nice crease. Okay, so then we are going to set that aside. We're going to take the colored paper and then I'm going to cut this into maybe two. Okay, this piece I'm going to cut into one. So my four fingers can fit in this one. Maybe this one can fit in four fingers. This also can fit in four fingers. This is a little bigger than that. Maybe the, my whole hand can fit in. Uh, maybe I'll just cut this into half. Okay. And one more. Cut in half. So this is like three fingers. This is like four fingers. A little bigger than that. Now, let me put this to the side. First thing that we're going to do is we are going to uh, draw on the top. I'm leaving like a one finger space and I'm doing, drawing a curvy line. Keep that. Okay. And then um, in the middle of this, maybe you can even fold this in half first. Let's fold all the pieces in half. So it doesn't, the paper that you take doesn't have to be these two colors. You can use any color that you have at home, okay? So any two colors that you think will look good together. So I'm just using these two colors because that is what I have right now. So then first we made this curvy line and then we made a dot with it folds, right? And then I'm going to connect this to this like a, with a, like a, U shape or a V. Okay. After that, what we're going to do is I'm going to draw curvy lines. Then I'm going to turn this around. All this starts from the here, from a middle point there. I'm going to make some. This is going to be an abstract flower. Okay, if you want, you can add a few more lines. Okay, so one is done. So curvy line from the top here in the fold that is where it and make a line, a dot, and then make a curvy line from here to here. It's like a rainbow. And I'm going to make some lines. Go. Turn this around. Like rays from this point, okay? And then you're going to put some dots. All these lines can be of different lengths. Some are going all the way to the top. 
some are not it doesn't matter I'm just making some dots there same thing the next paper curvy line a dot in the middle where the, it folds and then I'm going to make a curvy line from this point to here from this point to here I'm going to make another curvy line and from here where it folds I'm going to start making lines like rays in different size different lengths and then I'm going to make the dots you think there is more space in between you can go ahead add more lines next one curvy line dot in the middle curl curl from this point I'm drawing rays like lines dot 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 now this done the next one Keep doing that. By now you know how to do this, right? It's pretty easy. So finish doing this for all the pieces. So next, we are going to cut this out. So I'm just going to go along the lines. The first line, I'm just next to the line. I'm cutting next to the line. Here on the top, you can cut on the line. See? Cut on the line, the curvy line that we drew, on that we are going to cut on top of that. So see, I'm cutting the curvy line. Okay, Here and here you're going to cut next to the line. You want to keep that line. This way you can go ahead cut all these and then within no time we can finish this flap. <laughs> so now we'll be wondering why we are making cards. Mm, this weekend, next weekend is Mother's Day. You guys know that, right? Or you can, it's always nice to learn how to make a card, even if you're not making, if you already made one card for your mom and you don't need to make another one. You, if you know how to make a card, you can use it to give to your friend for his or her birthday. You can use it, the teacher appreciation week is coming, maybe you can give it to your teacher. You can give to anyone, your grandparents, your grandmother, no, your, uh, anyone for any occasion. If you need a card, you can use that, right? So now I'm going to take this. I'm going to glue these down. So I'm going to put this in different heights. I think... I need only this many. One is an extra one. That's okay. I'm just arranging it the way I want. 
and then I'm going to glue it down. I think I like the way this looks right now. So I'm just going to put some glue. Glue it down. Okay, so now we need to draw the stem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a V under each with a black marker. This one you won't be, maybe you can lift it and then make it. This one is here so I'm going to jump over I'm not drawing on the top of this flower I'm jumping over the flower and then continuing where the paper is like that same thing here I'll jump over and continue this one jump over and then continue so it's like a simple abstract flower sometimes less is nice right so this is one such case you're not using much but still this flower looks nice so if you want to add leaves you uh you can do that maybe simple leaves we are not even going to color it in just minimalistic picture okay a few leaves and then with that we are done with the card making now it's the time to um write the message so if you are making this if you made this card for your mom you can write happy mother's day and if you're planning to give it to her for mother's day you can write happy mother's day inside um so I'm going to go ahead and write happy H A P P Y happy Mother's Day. Okay, and I'm going to put a heart and then write sign my name or just write my name. Okay. So I hope you guys had fun learning how to make this card along with me. I had lots of fun. I would like to see how this turned out. So um, after you upload your finished work into Seesaw or Club or whatever your class use, do email me your finished work. Okay. So happy Mother's Day to your mom. And till we meet next time. Bye-bye.